I'd like to thank our sponsor, Brandon Moyer of Made to Be Clean Cleaning Services. They use low toxic cleaning solutions to make your home or office clean and healthy. Made to be clean, your hive, our purpose. 484-509-7197. Hi, this is Brad Wiseman. I'd like to thank my sponsor, CMG Home Loans. Mike Bauer, 610-533-3151 or mbauer at cmghomeloans.com. You need a mortgage? Call Mike Bauer. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We are back in the studio and we have a really cool guest today. I've been trying to get this guy on my show for probably about two years. He kept blowing me off and saying, no, I don't want to be on your show. You're not good enough for me. All these different things. But no, it's Freddie Vasquez is here. He is amazing. He has his own podcast. You have your own um, you know, digital marketing company. Yeah. You are doing a lot, man. Yeah, pretty busy, bro. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. And that was all a bunch of crap, (laughs) by the way. (laughs) I don't know what you're talking about. I Mm -hmm. don't know what you're talking about. No, we have been talking about this. I see you at Cloud9, and how many times did I say, I got to get you on the show. I got to get you on the show. And we just finally made it happen. And I'm so glad we did because I love your podcast. I love what you're doing there. And you have two. You have Fred Talk and you have Fred Talk Flow. And I'm really kind of into the whole flow thing that's yeah, kind of cool yeah i dig it it's just about uh talking without having to talk to other people yeah just getting my thoughts out there that's hard know. to do yeah it is i'm i'm really into uh writing but i just don't have time to write oh sit there interesting and get my thoughts together right so i just you know when i'm doing shows if i have some time you know i got my own hugo mccookie <laughs> joseph mccookie there and i'm like mccookie throw the throw the camera on me and i start just Blaring out things that that have been in my mind for, uh, I love God knows that. How long? Yeah, it was really good. You did one, and and people should listen to this. They should definitely go see the, uh, the or listen to Fred Talk Flow because it's really cool. Uh, and the other the other show's great too because you have guests on and you yeah, do kind of yeah, what yeah. I do. But I like the uniqueness of the flow part, the Fred Talk Flow, because there was a there was a segment you did, and I, I brought that up before we even started recording was about you know getting older. Yeah, immortality, man. We don't have immortality. It. Yes. Yeah. If you could fix that, we would all have a lot of money. <laughs> or maybe we'd run out of money be because, full, because we live too long. Be too full, yeah. It would be too full. Yeah, be too yeah full. this planet can't handle who's on it now. Yeah. Uh, but no, seriously, that was that was really it hit home. Thank you, you know, because I, I I turned fifty three and you said you're forty four. Yeah. So, you know, it starts to when when you start getting towards the other half, you start thinking of those things that we're not gonna be here forever. No, man. No, and, and for me it's uh you know, trying to do as much as I can now, Yeah. you know, and I have my own thoughts about my own mortality and when I yeah. think I'm going to take a, you know, exit stage left, whatever they call it. Yeah. Um, so I don't let uh, a lot of things affect me anymore. I don't let money bother me anymore. Good for I you. I guess my number one thing, which a lot of people think may, it might sound egotistical or I'm too full of myself and that's nothing could be further from the no. truth. I just, I'm just at a point now where I'm like money, just make more of it. Yeah. Just make more of it. Yeah. I'm not going to let it stop me from doing whatever the hell I want. Yeah. You know, that's it. Well, there's a, there's a definition and I'll probably screw it up, but there's a definition for wealth that uh, I heard from Gary Keller from Keller Williams. And, uh, it was more about it's it, wealth. It's, it's wealth. Wealth is not about money. Mm-hmm. It's about doing what you want. Yeah, dude. When you want with who you want for as long as you want. I'm into that, man. It's beautiful. Seriously, because that, that means different things to very different people. Right on. If, if, if it means if I'm somebody that likes to just fish in a little rowboat, I don't need as much money to be wealthy. Right. Right. Right, man. But if it's uh, but if I'm somebody that needs Lamborghinis and big houses and boats and cars and all these things, it's a different level. It's a different yeah. Then you need more money. I dig that for sure. Because yeah. for me, I tell people for me to be happy on Sundays, I just need to be chilling on the couch watching like cool. dumb TV. Yeah. You know, because I don't want to think. Yeah, I think I get it. like five, six days a week. Yep. You know, people are telling you, how do I sell this, this, that? You know how hard it is to try to sell different industries? Oh, man. You know, like, just yeah. just think about that for a second. You're talking about towing company or, you know, a chiropractic company or a pet sitting company. Yeah. So my brain's rocking 24-7 yeah. constantly. So Sunday, I'm wealthy because I can sit on a couch and watch, like, Bob's Burgers and yeah. laugh. And, That's awesome. And I'm rich. I definitely. love that. Yeah. And that is so true, right, Hugo? No, that's right. That's cool. you feel that way, right? Oh, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's. I think that's something where we're evolving a little bit as as um, as humans or as as a community. We're evolving that 
what one of the things they said back in the 80s money was everything yeah it was about status it was about material things and i think we've evolved to a point where we're starting to realize that those things definitely do not bring happiness yep they don't definitely because don't. we see how many people in the world today um that are have everything they want and they're committing suicide they're on lots of drugs they're 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 searching for something that's just not there so miserable. yeah they're miserable it's sad it's exactly and right it sucks because i hate when that happens because yeah. i personally love like like i still am not totally over chris cornell yeah you know chris cornell yep. was a i was like dude yeah of it's all a, the people it's amazing right yeah you think they have everything mm -hmm. and then they go and do that it's amazing so let's move on with about more about freddie here so um you have this company that you do uh digital um, marketing and all kinds of stuff yeah. tell me you, you, how did you get into that fell into it bro fell into fell it fell into it because uh i wanted to be so this wasn't your dream nope this wasn't like you're in eighth grade and all of a sudden, boom, yeah. I got it. I want to be a rock star, man, just like you. <laughs> just like just me, like damn you, it. So we are both losers in the music field. <laughs> well, you, you went on Star Search, dude. Yeah, so but. That was bigger than me, bro. Yeah, Ed McMahon was a jerk anyway, so. <laughs> you always, well, you know, they no. always say that about people you know, right? That's so true, yes. Yeah. So yes, so you were in a band. Yeah. Was, you were gonna yeah. be a rock star. Yeah, that was it. And then, and then that didn't happen. No, man, I had, you know, I had a kid. You know, you had I had a kid. a kid early. You know, my Angelina, I loved her to death. Oh. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't consider it a mistake or anything. I no, just had a kid, so I had to not. stick around. You know, I yeah. had to be home more. Um, that and like other things happened, uh, but you know, it's hard. You know, here's the thing: I wanted to be like a heavy metal rock star. Right, you know, anything right. about music, you know, how hard that is. Not only to be a rock star in general. Now, people play, don't like, realize how music? hard it is. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude, it, it is. Mu the music industry, getting into the music industry, is one of the hardest friggin' things to do. Yeah, it really is. Now, do you think? Let's see if you think the way I think. Do you think if social media and all that was out, it would have been easier? I mean, would I have made it? Who knows? Or broke it? There, it what it did is, I think it allows another way to break through. Well, I wish I would have had it because my whole life was that band back then. Yeah. Like, that's all I did. I yep. did nothing else. It was all about the band. And I sat there having to make flyers and yeah. passing them out to real individuals yeah. in person. That's so and, different. And I always think to myself, because of my knowledge, if I could have just been able to do, man, if I could have had Spotify. Oh, my gosh. I know. <laughs> I know. Forget about it, dude. Forget about, forget about it. it. <laughs> so you're from Long Island, I heard. Yeah, New York, Long Island, New York City. <laughs> Is that where forget about it came well, from? Yeah, yeah, it's funny. I was talking to my wife the other day. I was like, I'm Spanish. Like, I'm Latino. Yeah. And my wife, I, I'm, my mom's from Brooklyn. She's okay. All kinds of things you know, cool. going on. My dad's from Ecuador. But I told my wife the other day, I'm like, I think I'm more Italian yeah you know than spanish because of who i hung out with all my buddies were you italian. seem you, you come across that way yeah no, uh, i'm just not italian you're just not italian just <laughs> not there do you like italian food well, well dude i love all kinds yeah, of yeah so do i so <laughs> do i all right let's go back so you fell into the uh design and you just started yeah. getting into it you said you were you, because of making cassette covers or yeah just you know for my band we yeah, need cassette covers cd covers flyers you know and then i uh, started doing it for other bands for those of you in the audience that don't know what a cassette is. That's <laughs> true. Very good point. Yeah, yeah. Hugo's like, what in the hell is a cassette? Yeah, dude. A cassette was yeah. a thing that you would have put in your car or in a cassette player and yeah. play it, you know? I needed a pencil to wind it up. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember those days <laughs> yeah, when it would come out and you had to, like, yeah, use the pencil? The pencil man. Oh, my God. Look it up. That's what I'm going to tell you. That's Google nice. cassette, and then you'll figure out yeah. what a cassette is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so you did that. And then how does it go from that, though, to where it is now? MySpace. 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 Oh my God, I forgot about MySpace. All the bands that wanted us to do their MySpace page was became um, unbelievable, almost overwhelming because my wife had this great idea of contacting signed bands, wow. and so we were able to get bands like Ra, you know, was like a, a pop band, and then it was like Earth Crisis and Black Dahlia Murder. These, but then we hit these it. sound like some pretty rough bands, right. by the way. But the best part was that led us up to Five Finger Death Punch. Which is the big one you said. Yeah. See, I don't know that band. Yeah, they're huge, man. Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah, huge. So just like Barry Manilow kind of music? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly who they, that's, they're big, just as big as Manilow among some I've circles. never, I've never, so they were big. Huge. And you did what for them? They did their MySpace for free. No way. Let us do it for free and let us just tell people we did it. And we wanted to put our logo on it. They were like, go ahead. Wow, and that once was we it. Put that logo on. Every band was like, "Do my profile, do my profile," but we were charging them money because it was. I remember MySpace was a little tough to get that profile to look professional. 
Ours was it, dope, man. Yeah, but it wasn't easy. Seriously, I remember yeah. I had a MySpace page. No yeah. idea why, but I did have one, and MySpace didn't look good. <laughs> We made it. No, MySpace. I'm oh, saying MySpace. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. MySpace looked nasty. It was just like a real bad one. No, ours were killer, man. Yeah. We figured it out, all the coding. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It was really cool. Very cool. So you go from that, and then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, we're moving out of New York. We're going to move Berks County and start this. Well, I went to Florida first. Okay. That Stop in Florida first. Year. That's fine. Yeah. And then Kim, my wife did research. She's like, Wilson School District is pretty good. Is that what brought you yeah. here? She, Wilson School District first. We were supposed to uh, move to Stroudsburg, I think. First. Yeah, Stroudsburg, yeah. And we got, uh, we were going to put the deposit down and the apartment guy rented out from underneath us. Get out. And my wife was like, I got one more place, but it's like half hour more away from New York. We checked it out. We came down here and we liked it. We were on State Hill. Those uh, Madison apartments yeah, on yeah, State yeah, Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to Olive Garden by the Target. Talked to a waitress and said, would you rather move here or up there? Literally, I swear to you, I'm not oh lying. Oh my gosh, and she was like, that's what I call research. <laughs> she was like, down here is better because there's things to do. Yeah, so based yeah. on the waitress and we well, Stroudsburg was, uh, nothing against Stroudsburg, oh. but there's not a whole lot. Of, right. At the time, I don't think mm -hmm. there'd be a whole lot. And that was like, uh, well, it's over 10, 12 yeah. years now. Yeah. And look what's happened in West Reading since then. Well, it's it's great. It's amazing, I mean, isn't it? It's insane. I love like, it. I love it here, but my wife did the research. It was all because of her we're here. Well, what's interesting is, you know, a lot of people end up here because of Wilson schools. Mm -hmm. and, and, and obviously, we have a lot of great school districts in the county and all that. But Wilson is one of those, one of those that attracts because of the sports programs, things like that that they have. It's uh, yeah. pretty amazing. So you're here now. And, you know, so you go from that to here and why I'm missing, which is where you are now. Yep. Actually, what's funny is people probably don't know this, but that building was actually a building that I owned it one time yeah, with somebody else. Yeah. And that was a great transaction. It worked out yeah. great. It and, was awesome. And I'm glad we passed it on to somebody. Watch the hat. But well, we passed it on to somebody that is taking really good care. It looks really yeah. good on the Thank outside, you, man. man. It looks Thank really you. nice. And that's Thank a great you. spot. Great, great spot. spot. What's the address? 928? 928. Yeah, 928 Penn Ave. Avenue. Yeah, it can't beat that. So, okay. So, what's this Universal Records? You worked for them? For a year, yeah. And School. what did you do there? I was an intern for the president. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't the president when I started. He became the president uh, second half of uh, my time there. Wow, that's pretty huge. Yeah, Monty Lippman. Oh, wow. Cool dude. Yeah. Very cool. Met a lot of bands coming in and out. I was there when like Three Doors uh, Down got signed. Oh, Three Doors Down. Good yeah. band, actually. See, want, I know that one. I remember they wanted pizza and tickets to a Knicks game. Oh, wow. That's pretty simple. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Yeah, it's cool. Pretty man. easy, pretty yeah, easy. Cool. All right, so let's go. Let's keep moving on here. So it goes from there. So how did you get... Um, into doing the podcast man i needed a break dude straight up just you know i've been doing a lot of marketing a lot of websites a lot of all those good things and uh i actually went to school for audio recording oh my gosh yeah i wanted to make albums oh right so, yeah. right so i watched that metallica video that came out back in the day and the whole first vhs tape was about them in the studio but i saw that guy oh, randy yeah. Staub doing the two inch tape mm -hmm. i was like i want to do that so i went to school for it Get out and of you know 20 something years later i was like you know what i could i can afford to buy a mic and yeah. a board like you yeah. have yep and i was like why not talk to people it's awesome and that's what we started doing and i think you have the same mics don't you yeah these, these are, are good great mics. it's a really good yeah. mic it's and same, what's funny is same being arm, same arm is probably yeah well what's funny is being in it's funny how we both had the the audio background because yeah. I did too. I was in many studios in New York and mm -hmm. Baltimore and different places, and uh, you know it was always about the sound. Yeah, you know, and and it's funny. I see a lot of podcasts um, where I'm like, geez, just spend the extra 150 to 200 dollars on a good on a good mic. Please, Sir, yeah, please, please, exactly. I'm begging you, please, <laughs> right, Hugo? Yeah, they just, yeah, right. do they just, just don't, do and it drives me crazy. Yeah. I'm like, dude, it's it's like another 150 dollars, and that's your brand. It, Exactly. You, why, it's exactly. You that's like your website looking like crap. Right. 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 But everything you do is your brand, man. Yeah. Let's get in. Let's get into brand because that's that's your. I love it. You are you are Mr. Brand. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll call you Mr. B. Let's do it, Mr. B. So yeah, you have an you have a knack for that. Yeah, I would. I would. Uh, well, thank you, man. Yeah, you I'm do. Glad. You do. You're yeah. really good at branding. Yeah, I love branding. It's it, the number one thing you have to remember about branding. I tell everyone is. What do people think about when they hear your name or the name of your company? Right. Just just say that once, you know, and then how do you how do you want to like represent yourself? Right. Like for me, it's like everything I do is about my brand. Right. Everything. I get my hair cut every two weeks. People think oh that's, my gosh, that's, not, that's, that's not crazy. It's about making sure I always look good because I don't know who I'm going to be in front of. Yep. Like literally I can and I, I missed the haircut by one day. 
Yeah, I'm missing yeah. mine this week, and it's going to really bother me. Because <laughs> yeah, right? it's funny, the less hair I have, the more it bothers me. Like, because my hair is going away, like, left and right. Yes. I thought same. sometimes it was the Bernese Mountain Dog losing hair. I think it's me. No, it's us. Yeah, it's right. actually me. I think I'm, I'm, think I'm shedding. Um, but, yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. And I, yeah. I'm the same way. I do mine, like, every three to four weeks. No, you have to. You have to do that. You, um, I always try to wear my company shirts. Like, this is a brand yep. new shirt we had done. Oh, I love that. This is brand new. It's like a retro 80s Yeah. Look. It, I thought it was, like, an old metal band no, shirt. Man, FXV digital design. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like old an old school. like yeah, it looks like an old journey. Man, uh, a good friend of mine, Adam Serrano, did this for us. You know, oh, I know um, that name. Yeah, he's a great I know that artist, name. Man. Yeah, he I know was the one name. Of our guest too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the brand, you know, it's my face. You know. Yep, it's I love that. Um, but it's you know, it's it's making sure everything you do is tip top, man. So yeah. like, if I'm gonna put a podcast out, I'm gonna make sure I have a great mic. Yeah. And if I'm gonna do um, an event. You know, with clients, I'm going to make sure I hire a videographer and a photographer. Yeah. And everybody's like, well, you have the money. You have, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, well, I remember back in the day watching Gary V videos. Oh, my God. And he was always just like, you know, do the things like that. Get a photographer. Absolutely. Get a videographer. Mm -hmm. Have somebody follow you around all day. Yep. And one kid was like, well, it's easy for you to say because you have all the money in the world. He's like, well, work harder so you have the money to do these things like this. That's right. And yeah. I was like, that's it, bro. But the yeah. crazy thing that people don't understand is if you invest in yourself in the beginning, mm -hmm. invest all that cash, yep. all that time, put it on a freaking credit card, yep. do it. It's going to pay. Tenfold. Absolutely. I guarantee it. Because just like you sitting here mm -hmm. two minutes ago saying, you're Mr. Brand, I know I did my job. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that you of all people. Yeah. Because you're a, a brand guy as well. I love branding. You have like the best stuff. I've seen a, I actually told my guys before I left, I was like, I'm actually going on a podcast now that is like actually run really well and oh, it's I good. appreciate that you that's know, that's I was like, I was it's nice it to out. hear from from you because you Dude, do a good legit. job yeah I appreciate not a that. lot of people do that yeah there's very few people where we live brad yeah that actually know what they're doing yeah so that's true and, and i would be willing to help i always say to people you know if you if you want to do this you know i would be willing to help out and telling you how to set it up you know it's right it's because the more people you have out there the better and hugo i got to give him uh you know kudos too because hugo does an amazing job uh producing right the show making yeah, sure it looks good <laughs> He has That's a right. he has a breathing problem. If you just heard that, <laughs> uh, but and also Hugo just he's buying a house too, which is really cool. Right on, yeah, That's right. Yeah. He settles in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Right. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So moving on. So you do the branding thing. Um, what else do you see yourself doing? Consulting. Consulting. Yeah, I don't. I want to stop picking up the hammers. I yeah. just want to talk. Talk. Talk to people. Talk to whoever needs the help. Um, it's just experience at this point. Man. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I have a ton of it. I feel like I have a wealth of knowledge to, to bestow upon people. Um, so I'm hoping in a few years, you know, FXV, you know, yep. uh, you know, hopefully I can pass it on to someone, sell it, something to that effect. Because yeah. I just want to start consulting, man. Cons just you know? just going to companies and kind of just. Yeah, talk to them. Because that, that, that part's fun. Well, it sounds like something that you, I, I saw you were, you met with uh, American Crane, I think it was. Yeah. Is that right? Big company, by the way. That's a mm -hmm. huge company, right? Mm -hmm. From what I remember, yep. they, it was interesting how you said in there how you like to kind of almost live with them for a little bit, mm -hmm. or it, you you really like to know the people that you're going to brand. Absolutely, because that gives you an edge on being able to I don't know how to say this to to show who they are in mm -hmm. the public, and that was kind of cool. Like it was it was it was shown like a you showed like a, there was like a picture of all of you guys sitting there, and I think you went out to dinner with them or something yep. like that. Went on a tour of their and then dinner. Went to lunch and lunch, mm -hmm. lunch, which mm -hmm. you learn about people when you do that. Oh yeah, you learn a lot about people. When yes, you, when you go out and yeah, eat. that they keep their mouth open when they're eating, you know, and stuff like that. They're <laughs> spitting food out, and they're yeah. you're like, what a slob, you know? It's like no, you but learn that's about all of them. You absolutely, learn about all their, their little, you know. Are they, you find out they're that. compulsive? Are they this? Are they that? Are they, you know, and that will tell you about a person, how, exactly. you're to, how the relationship that you're going to have with them will go. Yes. You exactly. Know, once you learn more about that person. Yeah. See, I like that part. You really dig in. You have to. How do you, let me tell you something. No, you don't have to. There's people that don't. No, you have to. <laughs> okay. okay? You have to. Here's my thing <laughs> is you have all these people and all these, these, these companies coming out now that yeah. all do marketing. Yeah. Everybody does marketing now. Yep. Everybody does digital marketing. I see a lot of it. And that's all fine and, and dandy. You know, go for it, man. I mean, who, who am I? I'm not the marketing guy. Yeah. Anybody can do it. But if you want to do it right, mm -hmm. how can you sit there and promote a company you don't know anything about? Right. I, I, you don't know anything about it. Right. I'm sorry, you don't. Yeah. You know, I get so you. how do I how do I learn about a company? When somebody's hiring you to do the social media, you need to produce 
content that shows their culture. Yeah. How do you do that? By what? Just getting an email one day saying, hey, we do this and we're going to put it out for you. Yeah. No way, man. You have to live that culture. You have to go to all their Absolutely. events. You have to go hang out with them once a month. You have to go and support them. If they have kids going to certain games, go to their kids' games. It sounds like a lot, mm -hmm. but when you start doing that over time, you learn about these people and realize how they run things. Yeah. Then the content that comes out is great. Everything is great. Everything yeah. is naturally better where it's almost like there's no energy spent on it. Like it's not like you're like struggling. Yeah. It just happens naturally. Yeah. Organically, naturally. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I agree with that. You know, it, it's, it's an interesting point. And there was, um, I listened to Ed Milet a lot. I don't know if you listen mm -hmm. to him a yeah. lot. Very, very good, um, great thinker of, of our time right now. And uh, he, he talks about how, you know, sometimes we should also, um, if we, if we didn't have ears, if we could just not have ears for a little bit and stop listening to what people are saying mm. and watch what they do, because it's interesting. He said, when we listen, um, they're saying things that sometimes don't make sense for what they're actually doing. Like their right. actions are very important mm -hmm. because that's really what they believe. So if somebody says, oh, I love doing this, love doing that, yet you watch them, let's just say they say, oh, you know what, I would, I'm, I'm green and I'm, I care about the earth. But you watch them walk down the street and they throw a piece of paper on yeah. the ground. <laughs> you know what I mean? So which one do you believe? Right. Do you believe what they said or do you believe are by their actions? Absolutely. You know, so I thought that was pretty cool. And that's kind of like you're watching these people do these things in, in their business. And that gives you, you say, okay, that's really what's going on. Right. That's what's going on. Yeah. And then you business. actually get to see what they need. Yeah, exactly. You know, Cause I mean, literally American crane, they're our clients now. Yeah. Great. You know, and we saw that we saw what they were putting out last month in just socials. So we go and hang out with them as a team. We have yeah. lunch, we have a meeting with them. We talk to them, all those great things in one month, we had an increase across the board. On all their socials and stuff. Unbelievable. Just because we sat there and just listened and tried to and see just, yeah. what they're all about. Yeah. You know, I'm not yeah. selling cranes here. No. I'm not selling cranes. No, you're not I'm selling, selling a culture. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm selling a brand that's absolutely USA made, baby. Yep. That's, that's awesome too, which I love. Mm. <laughs> USA all the way, man. Yeah. One more thing before before we end up here. Um, if I'm a new company and I'm coming out and I gotta start branding, I need to do a website. I need to do all these things. What do we do first? And how, how, where do you start? Website, man. Website. Because everything that you do goes there. That's it. That's and that's the brochure of today. That's it. Right? I mean, think about it. You know, when, when you're networking or selling, you can mm -hmm. be in front of that person. And you and I can look great, haircuts, shoes, the whole nine. We're only in front of that person for that little bit of time that yep. we have with them. When they're looking online for, for whatever you're trying to sell. Yeah. Your website's the salesman. Absolutely. You know, and if that's not tip top and always working and, and at its peak performance, yeah. how do you expect to accomplish anything? Amazing, right? You know, yeah. Well, you're doing a great job with it. I looked at your website, saw all the different people you're working for or working thank with, you. I should thank say. You. Uh, thanks for, you know, getting on the show. And thanks for having I me. I was bullcrap in the beginning. I, <laughs> I, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't hold back. He was actually right there and said, yeah, let's do it. So yeah. I appreciate you being here. Uh, FXV Digital, is that, is that what it's called? That's it, baby. FXV, FXV Digital Design. V Digital Design. 928 Penn Avenue, I know that. What? How do we else do they get in touch with you? You tell me. FXVDigital.com website. That's it. Oh, That's so you it. do a website for yourself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got one of those. <laughs> awesome, man. Great conversation. I really appreciate Thank you, you being here, man. Keep appreciate it up, it. all right? Thank you. All right, cool. There you have it. Freddie Vasquez. That was great. He finally made it to the studio. That's, that's just amazing. That's about it. See you next Thursday at 7 p.m. All right, we're out of here.